What's up, what's up, what's up? It's episode four. Better concede to nobody. We back in this motherfucker. Uh, for our live listeners, we got off to a delayed start. Thanks, Corey. <laughs> yeah, I was at the fair. My bad, folks. Throw, throw, throw him under the bus uh, real quick. Just like niggas do. You want to talk, talk up, though? Yeah, just like niggas do. Like when you get caught for doing the crime, they say they caught us. No, no, no. no, no <laughs> they caught us. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we about to have a good show, man. Um, he allegedly said that he was in, uh, in fair traffic. He, he rehearsed his lines and shit. He probably was laid up. I don't know, man. I don't want to accuse him of nothing that I can't uh, substantiate or prove. But anyway, we back in this motherfucker. About to have a fantastic show. Uh, shout out to everybody listening, everybody tuning in. What up, what up? What's been going on with you, though, man? Nothing, you know, just working. You know, uh, went to the fair today, $2 Tuesday, so ain't that I could go to the That's fair. That's why the fuck you late, man. Why you See, he wanted to blame it on fair traffic. He was in, he was at the fair. I said I was at the fair. And yeah. fair traffic when I was leaving, I lived right by the fair. You could have hopped that fence. I just got his car, took it back street. <laughs> Shit, I mean, I was fucked up all the way from 38th. We were from 52nd down to 30th. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had to go all the way down college to 25th and get on the highway and come. Should have known on $2 Tuesday and shit, though, man. Man, all your cousins and them was out. Like, niggas was out with their kids. They ain't even paying child support on. Like, hey, I'm going to take my little man to the fair. <laughs> That's like the equalizer. Yeah. You go a whole year without doing shit. You just got to do the uh, good day. Do the good day. Like, birthdays. Uh, Christmas fair only on two dollar Tuesday though you can't take them any other time fair high that's what uh, my nigga said said he went up there I don't understand like the thrill of this shit I went to the uh, fair one time I just go to eat the food I ain't like that shit me being that poison like Lucky. I mean it's like you gotta die something. literally what you gotta die something man that shit don't sound cool I mean you, you is it poison die? for real I mean, nigga, if you dump a fucking Twinkie in some grease. I say I ain't eat shit like that. I get like the corn on the cob, the teas, yeah. the lemon, the uh, corn dog, funnel cakes. I get shit that I know that's safe. And I ain't going to get no deep fried. Deep fried death. Yeah, I ain't get. Like they had, this year, the new thing was deep fried Reese cups. Like that shit don't even sound good. Yeah. Like they be putting. A burger with uh, the buns was donuts instead of. Regular buns. Niggas are trying to kill themselves. Yeah, I wonder why everybody got diabetes and high blood pressure and sugar. Well, uh, what you do, man? You on a on a roller coaster, the merry go rounds and I shit. I'm on weed. I don't get on rides. You don't ride rides? Hell nah. That even worse than a fucking deep fried uh, Twinkie is riding a fucking roller coaster. You see that shit that happened in Ohio? I'm. Sh- uh, I think I did. Last week, that it was a fair. Like oh this. yeah. Yeah. See. It, all it takes is one person to just have a shitty day at work, leave a screw loose, or cut corners. Cut corners. Cut corners. And I'm a corner cutter, so if you depending on me and shit to keep some shit safe. Boy, got a high probability of death. Yeah. Uh, that's all. I was telling somebody I don't ride roller coasters. I don't understand. I don't the get the thrill of it. You hear everybody screaming. Like, how, how's that fun? Almost dying has never been fun to me in no. my adult. Like when I was young, I used to ride roller coasters. I never rode them, but. At first, I never did because when I was like eight, I was at the fair and the uh, Ferris wheel got stuck, and I was at the top of that motherfucker. Yeah, I was traumatized for at least four years. But you go to Kings Island with school and everybody riding rides, you feel like a sucker when you ain't when you the fucking uh, the bag holder. Yeah, yeah, you hold shit like a little bitch. So I used to ride roller coasters, but I went. Uh, I can't remember where I went, but I was just on the pirate shit. You ever ride that? Yeah, I fuck with the pirate shit. They done with a swing. They made me feel like I'm about to throw up. Did it? Hell yeah. Every time you come back, man, you feel like you about to... Fuck that. There's got, no joy in there. I me. almost threw up. I got tricked to get on Magic Mountain at Disney. Yeah. That well, was, I can't remember. In Florida? Yeah. Because sure. it goes dark. Like, you don't see what the hell you're doing, but it's just a whole bunch of unnecessary moving around. I said, oh, hell no. Nah. And that elevator drop. It feel like my stomach's about to come out of my throat. I find no thrill in doing any of that shit. It's silly. No. I don't know who came up with the concept of roller of coasters. Death. Almost death. Like roller coasters, bungee jumping, parachuting. Like, who who jumps out of a perfectly good airplane? Oh, I'm doing that. Nah, nah, if I'm I already said all I said about the roller coaster and the uh, no joint, I got to hop out of the airplane. This chick that went for her birthday a couple months ago. Like, she died. Nah, she's I'm better than her. 
So if she lived, I'm gonna live. Yeah, she, it looked it fun from for a thrill seeker. Like they let her record it, everything. I was like, ah, oh, that's that's. And she got drunk with somebody. Yeah. See, that's what I don't want to do. I don't want no grown ass man hold on to me. They have shit. women. Uh, I don't want no grown ass woman. Yeah. I mean, you. Don't you had to go take the lessons and then jump. After that, if I'm paying my money and shit, I don't think anyone should have to tell me how to jump. I can understand, you know what I'm or saying? Or like the concept of pulling the, like you may freeze up up there. Nah, I'm not gonna freeze if it's my <laughs> life on the line, nigga. I know to pull the goddamn string. But um, I don't know, man. That, I, I always wanted to hop out of the airplane. I don't know if I ever do it, but if I get that chance, I'm jumping. What else though? Uh, you take your daughter to the fair? I'm taking her Tuesday. Uh-uh. I let her mother get an extra week. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. I like that. I like how they yeah, say Yeah, you know. I, I like let her get an extra like, week. If you are, if you good, you keep the girl for a little extra yeah. week. So I say, shit, since you ain't paying child support. You know, she should be out on the child support. She's like two years behind. <laughs> you can throw her with the prison. I should. Uh, <laughs> do she what is. the women do. See how the other side live. Why she, damn, why she be on? She ain't got no job. She just don't pay. She, damn, yeah, she just don't. Yeah. Up, she's a deadbeat. Yeah, she's a deadbeat mother. So, you ever tell your daughter that? Nah, I, <laughs> I never bash the other parent. Like when she come back, you know, I some parent like, well, "What was you doing over there? What you did? You do what you?" I don't ask shit. You don't ask shit. Uh, uh-uh. uh. She come back, and you know, we just go on like, you know, we go on like it never happened. Hey. What goals one at your mom's house stays at your mom's yeah, house? Yeah, I don't. You know what I'm saying longest, like I said, longest. Uh, you ain't. The boy courts don't ever threaten. Huh? The courts I'm don't. pretty sure they do, but. How much she supposed to pay a week? Here's the crazy thing about it. So when I got custody of her, I didn't even ask for support. And the judge said, whoever's in non custodial has to pay support. So I, and my, I was like, well, just give it the bare minimum. Like, she ain't going to pay the shit no way. And they were like, all right. So, and she had a job. Now, mind you, she makes 20 something an hour and she works 60 hours a week. So she, she make how much? 20 something an hour. She been in her job for a minute. Oh yeah, and so she was supposed to pay like one oh three a week, but then she said she get she got insurance on Corey, so they lowered it by fifty dollars a week. So she only supposed to pay like fifty three dollars a week. Oh, she got insurance on? Huh? She don't even have insurance. She's like, like we didn't even ask for the paperwork or nothing. We just said fuck it. She don't got the insurance. Like, nah. I'll go back to court just for just to do it for yeah. just to do it for the hood. All the men that suffered. All the men that's right now child support, man. You supposed to be representing them. Yeah. You ain't supposed to take no shorts. None of that shit. Yeah. But anyway, man, shout out to uh, <laughs> you <laughs> be a strong black man doing it by yourself. Yeah. Anyway, man, what's been going on uh, in the news, man? I want to talk about it. It's a few things, man. Um, the first thing I want to talk about, I don't know if people hear to the news. I posted on the uh, Conceded Nobody. Uh, fan page on Facebook. If you're not a fan there, you need to go there and check it out. It's uh, the Conceited Nobody. Uh, conceited. The Conceited. And it's nobody like K-N-O-W-B-O-D-Y. Uh, it's a story. I'm going to pull it up and read it or read as much as I feel like. It says, man allegedly killed by four strippers after helping them change a flat tire. I'm going to read some of this. Like, recently, four adult entertainers turned adult entertainers. Like, this is some, that's some funny shit as a headline. Why they pacify these hoes like adult entertainers, strippers? Recently, four adult entertainers turned themselves over to authorities after federally shooting a Missouri man who helped him change a flat tire. According to Mississippi County Police, Janicia Simmons, 19, Brittany Curry, 28, Panisha. This bitch named Panisha. So her daddy, her her daddy probably something like pa, uh, Paul or something, and her mama probably Ta Taisha or something. She probably yeah. should tell her to anything yeah. and La Tisha. I feel like a fucking white person reading these names. Like I don't know how to properly pronounce them. La Tisha Dotson, twenty three, were charged Thursday, August the third, with first degree murder, armed criminal action, and unlawful use of a weapon in connection with the death of Ralph Cross on August the first. Based on reports, 55-year-old Ralph Cross helped a group of women from Nashville, Tennessee, with a flat tire. While working on the car, Cross allowed the women to stay at his home. We're going to have to go fuck that. We're going to offer commentary as we fucking go. This is like, yeah, listen, back. 55. And, and, and I wish that whole stay at his house. Man, listen. If you could see these the, roads. Let me just look like shit. If you could see, listen. I'm sitting here looking at these hoes now. I'm not, I'm not cool enough to stop for some pretty bitches. In the middle of the night, 
I'm not. I'm not stopping for nobody. I don't stop for nobody. I got a fear of dying from a random act of violence anyway. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm. Not, I seen enough movie, man. These bitches. They said that dog strippers, man. These bitches look like. I'm gonna tell you what they look like. Hood rats. They look like hood rats. Gonna be more detailed. These She's bitches. a crackhead. She. She probably the, like the. The damn mother, ain't they what they call the one that wash their clothes, watch them while they in the locker room and shit while they out dancing? Or she might be their girlfriend slash boyfriend. She might be the stud. She the pimp. She might be. She might be the nigga of the bunch. Yeah, she the nigga of the bunch. These bitches look like they change oil for a living. I mean, these bitches look like they change tires at the uh, these bitches like tire work, shop. <laughs> these bitches look like they work at Jiffy Lube. Oh. <laughs> they look like they work at Jiffy Lube. But they said that. Uh, Based on reports, 55-year-old Ralph cross helped a group of women from Memphis and Nashville with flat tires. As a matter of fact, they look like they do some shit to be on uh, First 48. Yeah. You know, First 48, stay down in that area. Oh, man. That general area. Uh, while working on the car, cross allowed the women to stay in his home. He was high-level horny. He was high-level horny. He out here changing tires, letting these bitches. These are strange bitches. You know what that means. He's 55, so he probably took that little blue pill. Yeah, and he was probably, right. yeah, he was ready yeah. to go. It seemed like shit. These bitches, like, they going. <laughs> and they look like they going. Like, they like, they just fuck. Yeah. Just yeah. in their defense, these bitches, this is, all, this is their mug shots. They probably had a whole bunch of makeup, long-ass fingernails, and some of that long-ass weave to hide their... Nah, this bitch still got weave in her hair, like... They, I mean, two out of three got weave. Yeah. But these other bitches, like, they just woke up from death. Like these bitches crawled, she literally high. crawled out the ground and she said, let's go hey, take a flat. She's the follower. She been crying. Yeah, yeah. yeah she well, been... listen, okay, go on. Uh, the women remained in the home until Tuesday when Cross Body was found with a gunshot to his back. So wait a minute, what, the, what day was uh, August the 3rd on? You got a calendar. Yeah, August the 3rd was a... Like a uh, 31st. It was a, uh, was last Come on, Friday. Come on, we ain't got to get Last Friday. Do you got a calendar? Yeah, it was last, okay. last Thursday. Killed, last Thursday. They killed this nigga last Thursday and stayed at his house till Tuesday. Just chilling. Like, we get at Bernie's. They killing like white bitches. Yeah. Like, this is, this is some clever white people killing. Yeah. Niggas don't usually do shit like this. They do shit like go and take credit card, go spend it and shit. You know what I'm saying? These bitches out here really lounging or whatever. But it's like police said the group. The group of women killed Cross after stealing from him. A witness reportedly saw three women argue with Cross outside as one sat in the fixed car. That's just, that's what we're going to tell everything. I didn't know what they was doing. They just went there and they shot him and I was crying and I had nothing to do with yeah. it. So moments later, the witness heard a loud noise and saw the three women enter the waiting car driving away. Family and friends convinced the group to turn themselves in to the police after surveillance. Oh, so they would have told on themselves. That's was released to the public. No, they, they didn't do Family so. and friends convinced. So somebody went back black. Well, it was surveillance. They was ah. caught. That's what it's like. Ah. Can you imagine you sitting down watching TV and shit and you see yourself running and shit? <laughs> where the fuck is surveillance footage at? Like, where did this nigga live? Where was surveillance footage? Mm. Mm. I wonder, matter of fact, I wonder yeah. if it was, nigga. I hope this wasn't a goofy ass nigga, man. I think it was. He was in New York, though. This one in New York. This was Missouri. Missouri, yeah, Missouri. While none of the women have taken responsibility for the murder, each is being held without bond. This is the New York Daily News. That's probably why you see yeah. that. But man, like under what circumstance, like you want to be a good person, you want to help people and shit, especially women. Like when did be, when, when did women become this rough? Man, like these bitches are shooters. It's a bunch of fucking young mods. That's what it is. The, the music turned these bitches into shit like shit. Yeah. This ain't no music. I doubt this music and shit. This see you said like the Lord's Tucker. Yeah. <laughs> you know these young people they believe anything they hear and see. So like, oh, they said it on that, not knowing they don't really live like that. Hey, you sound like you talking about teenage boys. Shit, I mean, if, if I'm looking at this one chick, <laughs> she she might have been a teenage boy at one point. <laughs> So he said she said she trained. Yeah, it's probably drugs. Some bitches don't look like no men though. This is like some hardcore uh drug addicts. Yeah, these bitches look like okay, I'm gonna tell you, man, the bitch at the top left corner, she look like she got a chance. Yeah. She don't look that bad, man. This bitch That's the one that's been crying. Like she telling. 
Hell yeah, she did. She telling, she been crying. Yeah, she, she. They already separated her from everybody else. Yep, they did, man. She gonna tell. Uh, I wish I could distinguish with exactly which was which. Uh, but she gonna tell, man. Like, would you, would you have picked them up? I'm not picking up nobody. Like, I don't roll past plenty. I don't roll past a fine ass bitch on the side of the road string. I just look like, damn. She had fat old ass that kept on rolling. I don't, listen. I don't understand no bitch walking. Yeah. Like, I, I would never pick up a woman walking. Like, I don't, like, if you look like anything, like, I can understand a creature. Like, a real ugly bitch. Yeah. Like, walking. I can understand people passing her up and not giving her a ride. It's some understandable shit. But far as somebody who we would think is pretty and shit, if you pretty as fuck and you walking, man, bitch, you you're absolutely useless. Yes, I'm it's dead. like for for you could find no nigga to give you a ride somewhere, and that's what I be thinking. Like I be seeing bitches on the bus stop. Ah uh, yeah, I'll be like, man, what did this bitch do to be out here walking? But I'm, I'm I pulled up Ralph Cross. That's the guy. Hey man, uh -huh. he's sitting up here. He look, he he on that R Kelly shit. Old man, young. Yeah. He got his hats in the back and shit, man. Ah, oh, he, uh, Dick Clark, the oldest teenager. <laughs> That's how you live in life. Yeah, yeah, that shit caught up with him, man. Unfortunately, I yeah. won't make too much out of the situation, but listen, people always say never, say never, but I will guarantee you this. Yeah, I'm not picking up. I'm never going to get killed by four strippers after helping them change their tire. Yeah. That just ain't my demonstration right there. I'm not going out like that. But like I said, he's... They say it's crazy because the one Brittany Curry is the one that you said at the bottom right hand corner. They say she pulled the trigger. They it, said she killed. Him. Yeah, she out there, man. That's the, I tell you, that's the stud. How old is she? How old is she? She's a thirty. She yeah, she's a thirty year old. She this does. ain't her first body. Nah, this ain't her first body. She like she been killing and shit for. A while. She seems like the type who got raped by her stepdad and stabbed him and stole when he was asleep. She got that look. She got that like she'll fuck some shit up. But um. That's unfortunate, man. Yeah. Something else, man, you was talking about, uh, we was talking about the Steve Harvey thing. Steve Harvey, that nigga's wife suing him. Ex-wife. Yeah, him the, sec the second wife. Remember, he, he had two ex-wife. He on his third wife now. The second ex-wife is suing. How, how in the fuck do you get married three times? I don't know. Like, if... It, I don't know. <laughs> Like, what the I fuck, man? Yeah. Are you that in love with love? Like, how do you get Like, he just want to be in love. love. Like, oh, man. I'm telling you, man. You, you should be, uh, you should learn your lesson after the first one. Yeah, you should never make that. Uh, you should learn your lesson after. Because, like, what, what, what did you do? Like, how did you lose? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I know how he lost the second wife. How did you do that? Okay, so the third wife was mistress while he was with the second wife. So yeah. then he left the second wife to go marry the third wife. And side note, so Steve Harvey got this show. Hold on real quick, we're going to get into this. <laughs> yeah. The thing with this shit is, Steve Harvey got enough money where he should be able to have as many bitches as he want to at one time. Like, you should be, have, when you got that Steve Harvey level of money, man, he must ain't got no game. Like, he, he must not know how to conduct bitches in an orderly fashion. That's the only thing I can think about. Uh, like, how, how you can't run your ship right. Like, you have... All that money, you could have a bitch in Florida. Yeah. You could have a bitch in New York. You got a bitch somewhere in the middle of the map, like Indianapolis. You got a bitch in California. With him not having that game, see, like, what they call niggas with, uh, with money, cornballs, just a weenie with bread. He probably had the bitches and fell in love with the side bitch and was like, oh, man, I got to leave. I got to fuck up home for you. Like, it's a, I know, I... Sh I know some niggas out there like that. Like what? That will, will fuck up home and go to the side, bitch, and, and like, like I'm leaving everything I got for you. I always seen so always like on uh, with the Harlem Nights. Uh huh. When the sunshine put that pussy on. Yeah. It. Kids tell your mother never coming home. Never coming home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. that's high quality pussy if it can make you do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I wonder like exactly what is going on in your mind and shit to where. And then when you got that kind of money. You getting fucked. You getting fucked when you get the divorce. When she oh, to the sixty million man, like she said, she said he fucked her up. Like this is some she shit got like, murdered in there as one of the on. reasons. 
when uh, Mary J. Blige got a di- divorce from her husband. Shout out to Ken, dude. He, and he, 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 he getting paid, he too. He popped that bitch pop. Yeah. Ah, yeah. It's supposed to no prenup. Baby, I love you for you. Good Let me job, break this Ken. Yeah. That's like Ken do like you on a higher level. Like, <laughs> you get back with child support and shit. He, he got back. He got to get spousal support. Man, that nigga. Yeah. Man, he was probably already getting spousal support. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mary J. Blige ain't been right since singing the commercials to uh, Hillary Clinton. Things of that nature, but um, his wife, man, let's see if I pull it back up. She said that he fucked her up. She said she wants. This is what she said, nigga. The quote: "You murdered my soul." Yeah. Now, now, that's extreme. They they got a divorce in two thousand and five. That's twelve fucking years ago. Yeah. And she still, you know, what I'm saying like. That's a hell of a hurt. Yeah. 12 years. That's like 12 years slave that she dealing with. She you probably know? seen how he, he eating now, getting all this new shit. Getting all that money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bully ass nigga selling soul and shit. You know what I'm saying? Want a little bit of that. It got to be painful to break up with somebody. Mm-hmm. Or like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all break up and then you see them just explode. You know what I'm saying? He got his confidence went through the roof. Yeah. He, he took that fucking wig off. Oh, he comfortably man. confident. He, he fooled the hell head. out of me for years. I, I was like, damn, that nigga got the freshest line. I was like, he, his barber must travel with him. Man, that shit was too say, fucking I was like, what if that's a wig for me? I always said that to myself. And they kind of find out. I never suspected it. I never suspected it. Would you ever wear a wig if you were in that situation? Nah. Like, I shit. Once, once my hair started going, I'm shit. I got into the grain. You gotta, you gotta just let it go. Yeah. I mean, if you respect yourself, you just gotta let it go. Uh, I wouldn't do none of that goofy shit. No, uh, no, none of that coloring my beard. I, I couldn't be that cosmetic. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I like my rugged, ruggedly handsome. I like to feel like a man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to feel like I'm prettying myself up to the point where I'm like feeling in shit. Like I would though if I had a great beard, I'd dye that shit. I'll die that shit. But uh, what was you saying about Steve? Man, what you looking at, nigga? You over there distracting shit? I'm not distracting. Boy, show? Hell no, nah, I'm on social media just like you. I'm not on social media. Oh, well, all right. Okay, so Steve Harvey got this show along with the TV show. And you know how he always down his brother like, oh, you should stay with your woman, man up, and stay with her. I'm like, this nigga on his third wife. So, you know, I called into the show. I'm like, yo, Steve, like, you know, you done made some boys cry. Oh, well, you called into a show? Yeah. Okay. And I'm like, you I know. didn't know Steve why we had a radio show. Yeah. Do it. Uh-huh. Is it syndicated? Uh, one, the, the morning show syndicated. Is it on uh, satellite or? Uh, I don't know how I caught the second one or whatever, but the first one's on regular, um, it's on regular, um, like Radio One or whatever. They just play it in certain, mar- well, they play in a lot of markets, but unfortunately, we're not one. But, um, Unfortunately, depending yeah, on perspective. Depending on, yeah, like you said. So I called them, like, you know, you tell all these fellas they should stay with a woman, work it out, man up. I'm like, you on your third wife. I'm like, nigga, and your, sec- your third wife was mistress to your second wife. So how you gonna tell another man? They let you tell, They let you say this shit? I, they, they, they pretty much. I, I wasn't saying nigga, but you know, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yo, you know what I'm saying? How you gonna do that? So that's like the, uh, the big time heroin dealer. Tell the crack dealer, like, yo, man, you poison the community. You don't need to be selling them drugs. And he the biggest drug dealer one street over. Right. He hung right up on me. So did he He didn't respond to anything? Oh, man, I got hung right up on But he kind of commented later, like, you know. That bitch I, ass nigga called me. He was, nah, he wasn't there. Not <laughs> bitch ass nigga. <laughs> he was like, you know, everybody want to point out what you done wrong. Let's talk about, you know, what I'm doing right. I'm like, oh, That's what he said first. yeah, he kind of like, you know, yeah, I know I made some mistakes. And I ain't been, you know what I'm saying? The best person for a relationship. Like, kind of like along those lines. Well, nigga, why you writing all these books? Would you, I mean, even if you ain't been the best person, wouldn't you write them books? If you could buy a market for it, you could make the money. Oh, yeah, I definitely would. I definitely, <laughs> uh, I definitely dog it being because women is the most buyer of the book. And I'm pretty sure, like I told everybody, he's a good, a great businessman. I don't believe shit he put in that book. Like, that you read the book before? Nah, I ain't. Just uh, like the movie. I, I dated a girl and she was trying to preach that shit to me. So I tell you she wasn't gonna get no pussy for thirty days. Nah, that don't that don't work. Did she say that? I don't know. I, like what was she preaching to you? She was like, you know, well, uh, in this book, a good man do this. I said, what is the party talk about the good women? 
I said, I said, matter of fact, give me some uh, Bishop T D Jakes in here. You know, I say, hey, let's sprinkle a little bit of that in there or whatever. What, what what's a good woman to you? Uh, Twenty five. All right. Uh, hold on, hold that thought, man. We about to yeah. go this quick, quick break. We gonna be, be right back to y'all in a hot second. Hey, Corey be right here singing this song right here and shit. When he heard it, he right here calling chicks and shit. He, playing it. he be talking to him playing this in the background. I ain't got no heart. I just got a battery. Nigga, you got a heart. You a sweetheart. I can tell you. I'm man. a sweetheart. I can tell you, man. I can tell you. you I can tell you. Ruff, ruff. You rubbing feet and shit while the kids. Oh, nah. I don't know. Shout out to Tia, though. Know, this is her jam right here. Yeah, that's a dope song. Dope. Uh, so, like we was just saying, man, we was talking about what's a good woman. What, what's a good woman to you? Like, how, how, what's a good woman? I, one that's, first of all, I gotta be submissive. It's in the, it's in the Bible. Like, don't be that nigga. Yeah, don't, be that, that, don't be that nigga. Don't be that nigga. Don't be that nigga. Nah, I just, pull out what's in the Bible and shit. I mean, but chicks do it all the time. Like, yeah. let's say, uh, but nah, you know, one that's uh, faithful, listen, communicate well. Not a hoe, you know what I'm saying? I don't need no hoes. Like I don't care if you was a hoe in your past or whatever. You don't care if she's a hoe in her past. Nah. Is, is it? I mean, is it you don't care that she's a hoe in her past? What if? What if it's a high level hoe? This how I put it. Let's see, there, oh, you right there. If it's a high level hoe, like here's what it is. I'm I don't about train hoe where yeah. where it'd be like niggas like man we used to fuck we used to run train learn. I'm just gonna hit her, keep on going then. Like we can't get to that. What if y'all get in deep to the relationship and y'all be? I, I, now I'm just gonna hit her one more time and get see. I'm the type I don't care about your past, but if the question comes up and, and pass in a conversation, just tell the truth. Like if I got you lied to me one time, it's like filling a, a laundry basket up with water. Hold on, nigga. So <laughs> like, like you say, you say you want the truth. I'd rather not fucking know. Yeah, I'd rather that's why I don't ask. Know. But if it yeah. happens to come up, like don't lie to me. Ah, oh, that's that bitch. You suck all her dick. Yeah, and I'm out hey, of the public like a goddamn sucker. Did you suck uh, all that dick? That's what you would say. Uh. Like, yeah. I like fucked all them niggas, huh? Okay. Once you like, yeah, but I changed. You the only one for me. Yeah, sure. Okay. What well, you would say? I, I mean, was. Say it's Fifteen I, years ago. I was the only one for you. Oh, uh, nigga, you, you be too deep in. Uh uh. You be too deep in. So what do you consider too deep in? Shit, I mean. I don't know. You believe in being in love? Uh, damn. I think I've been in love once. <laughs> How do you define being in love? I don't know. Like, I really didn't want, uh, I really didn't want the relationship to end, so I guess that's my love. Like, any other bitch, I'd be like, alright. I just yeah. find reasons to, like, like, to like, end it. How did it end? Ah, uh, shit. Just I just cut your ass loose. And I just got tired, like, uh, like, we want, we want to compare. Like, what I told her was, like, see this bitch's problem. Well, my bad. I don't mean all oh, y'all. Yeah, I mean bitches in a good way, like my nigga. Oh, I say like bitch can be a term of endearment. Endearment, yeah, like yeah. nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a uh, bitch. See, women get with who they want, like, the, uh, the type of guy instead of the what they want. Like, they get with a guy because they like him and try to turn him into the type of guy that they want. Instead of just going out and getting the type of nigga that you want. See, she was trying to turn me into... The type of nigga she want. What kind, what kind, of, what kind of nigga does she want? A sucker. Like, what was she like you know, uh, you know, you supposed to uh, open my door for me all the time and this and that, and you know, you should rub my feet. Cause and then so here's what she. You like, against rubbing feet? Huh? You against rubbing feet? I'm not against rubbing feet, uh, but I don't think I don't believe in supposed to. It should, should be in relationships. Should be organic. Yeah, it's yeah, not you supposed to yeah. or should be in relationships. There's there's none of that in relationships with me. Like once you start saying that shit, like. She had hit me with the, uh, well, I had a good example of my parents, and, you know, my father used to do it with my mother. I said, well, your mother was only with one man, and you was a hoe. So, you, you gonna use all the examples, or Wait you pick and choose? Who was a hoe? She was? Yeah, all these chicks Compared to her mama? Yeah. Wait a minute. She was a hoe? Yeah. Now, her mama wasn't a hoe, but she was, she, you know how people want, same way with the Bible. Like, they'll yeah, quote some, yeah, yeah. the liquor, I'm like, hold on, uh. Quote the rest of the part of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Don't just use what's gonna help your argument out. Yeah. Like it, you know what I'm saying? Use everything or don't use nothing. This was a hoe that you loved though. Huh? You loved her. Mm. Hey man, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. No, no, no. no I'm I'm just, but that's what I say. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she is trying to change you. You like you can't change me. I'm being who I am. I'm a strong black core. I was just like shit. Sell me for who I am or don't be with me. Plain and simple. Like you can't be like I like you. Like, when you used to, I like the way you are, but change to this. That's like me saying, man, I like this show to conceal to nobody. 
Fuck, bitch, you gotta change this one to uh, Corey GQ Fresh. Yeah. That be, you know what I'm saying? But you still my nigga, but let's just gotta change this. Like, I keep trying to drill that into you to change the conceit of nobody, but it's the conceit of nobody. Like, I, that's why I like the show. I don't understand, like, how women try to change me. Like, I, like, I, I always say this, man, that, and I know, like, if anybody around me, especially women who hear me talk or see shit I post on social media, they be think I be on bullshit, think I'm uh, what they call sexist, but it's no sex yeah, thing, such thing. But women were created for a man's pleasure. Exactly. Like they are, women are a possession. That's women are to be possessed. Men are not to be possessed. Mm -hmm. Men were put here for their pleasure. Uh, men were here like a good woman is a prize possession. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's as good as getting. You supposed to take care of her, make her happy in accordance to your happiness like you, you know, I couldn't I couldn't be happy like I couldn't be with a woman who had happy and I'm not happy yeah I can't you know what I'm saying her, her happiness has to trickle down for me yeah you know what I'm saying? like I gotta be happy then we all I happy. have to be myself so I'm, I'm miserable but you happy as a lark like you just you don't cloud now. You tell all your other little bitches. And and you, oh, he, Mr. Said, oh, he does me so well. I'm so happy this yeah. day. And then you see this nigga like, damn, I seen he look depressed. Depressed. Shout out to my nigga, man. Uh, I got I got a homeboy named Artez, man. Uh -huh. Shout out to Artez. He had got married to this chick, man. I, the only time in my life I ever told my nigga, don't do it. I don't ever get in nobody business. Yeah, don't me do neither. I don't give. I, listen, about I don't give married, advice. He about to marry. I don't either. I don't take advice. I don't take, yeah, I don't, I don't get, I don't, advice. like, if my nigga, like, my nigga say, hey, man, this is going on, I'll listen. Right. Don't ever say, well, what would you do? I don't know. That's, that's your choice. Yeah. So I told him, I said, don't marry. Uh -huh. He married anyway, which is what he's supposed to, he's supposed to follow his shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I, it was just, I felt as a friend, I had to, you know, marry her, because she was, like, fucking toxic. Yeah. Sorry, she is like she is like a nigga, and I can say this now though, cause they they, they be done. Cool. They done. Yeah, it's like it's I've been tough. I've been holding this in like. Ah, oh, you been one time. Hey man, look when they listen when they broke up, I almost said you go, boy. You didn't need that bitch anyway. Yeah, like the chicks do. I almost hit some shit like that. Like I used to see. They have divorce parties and shit, yeah. but chicks don't. I own one. I own one. I own one. one. Listen. I used to see him, man, he looking all fucking disheveled, washed up, crow eye on his feet and shit. Look like I told I told somebody so our kids gonna die in a few years of a massive heart attack. Man. This bitch is killing my nigga. Shit, now, my brother I mean, I didn't think this happened with my brother when he passed away, you know, rest his soul, even though it was a stroke and aneurysm, but shit, his he's had to argue with his wife all the time. Listen. Uh, Artez got a new bitch. And he had I can see in his face. He be going. This nigga got a glow. And so probably like, put a little weight back up. Nigga probably was skinny like he was on that shit. Man, listen. Bitches can be toxic. Now, it's, it, a bad bitch can be bad for your health. Yes. And like you just said, nigga, that stroke of anger is my tell people all the time. If you look around the couples, man, majority of older women, like older relations, the nigga always die first. Always. Always, man. Because we not, we don't react emotionally and shit to where we talk about our feelings and shit. We hold everything in. Yeah. We just drive you to death. Like, bitches will kill you. Yeah. That's how come I always tell people, man, like, I don't give women the power over me and, and to another, fuck up my happiness. Another thing. I have to be in a happy space to I, survive. I need a, a girl. Like, my biggest turn off with women is if you don't have real friends. Like, if you just got a bunch of good friends, I can't fuck with you. Maybe it's nobody has ever told you the truth about shit. Kind of like how these rappers be out here. Like, they make a, a trash-ass song, then they ask their homies. Of course, he gonna say, yeah, yeah, that's that shit hot, son. That shit hot, son. So, what do you mean, like, you, like you think a woman friend should have, like, paramount influence on her? No, no, you should have, like, okay, say, like, me and you, we, um, we don't build, we dinner, we got a lot of comment or whatever. So, if I was out, like, fucking up or whatever... I'm pretty sure you're like, damn, Corey, you know, that's, you know, some bullshit. Like, that type of friend. Yeah. Girls don't have that type. Like, girls will be whores, and a homegirl won't say, hey, you know, you, you might want to... Yeah, you slow down a little bit, yeah. or whatever. Because I, I just went through it with a chick. I ain't just go, but I went through it with a chick. Like, you know, I heard her talking bad about another hoe. So, that's why I put up the staff, like, dude, I said, why don't chicks never talk about all the niggas they fuck? They just only talk about all the niggas that other chicks fuck. And I'm a firm believer of, 
you can't don't talk about nobody when they ain't around to defend themselves. Yeah. So I heard her and her homegirl talking. I'm like, yo, you the hoe too. I was like, I said, and you are a bad friend. And she's like, what, what? I'm like, yeah, you should have told her. She was being a hoe. Like, you know, at some point in time, you got to tell her, like, hey, you just fucking too many niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, or like, you got to tell your homeboy, hey, don't hit her. Or that bitch burning. And like, I was talking to my nigga today, and we was talking about like how women, like, they'll see their friend look like hot shit. Hot, oh, hot terrible. shit. Yeah. And we'll tell her she look good. Girl, you cute. You is killing them. So we was talking, like, when do, like, niggas had an opportunity to intervene with each other and tell them, like, man, you this, that, or the other. Like, like in what situation outside of nigga relax, that bitch is burning. Yeah. Like, what, like, when do men intervene? We usually just let a nigga go. Yeah. Really yeah. So, like, when do we intervene with each other and shit be like, nigga, relax. We don't do that shit. Like we even don't. we don't encourage it, but we don't. We don't stop it either. Yeah, we don't so stop the fuckery, but we yeah. don't encourage it either. It's like it's like watching a funny crash. Like hey, yeah. damn, fuck that fat bitch. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. they be all over the spectrum of bitches and shit. Boy. It's weird as fuck. But um, I was just talking. About, I want to get back to what you were saying about yeah. the about the being. Look, he crying, falling apart, and shit about yeah, being in love. <laughs> <laughs> Like, man, what was you like when you said you ain't wanted to end? What was you doing? Because I was like, damn, you know, I was like, we should just go out here and work it out. Like, any other chick, I'd be like, shit. What you were saying? I didn't say it out loud. I never say no. You didn't say it to her? No, I mean, like, you know, what can we do to keep it going? Like, you know, what's, you know, what to help us or whatever. How can I be a better man for you? Nah, I ain't never say no shit like that. Like, you know, cause, and, I, and I told her, I said, well, you know, what our problem is, we both have wants and needs, and we're not providing for each other. I said, but since she yelled, uh, you were this Christian woman, you keep saying she she used, be, you used the Lord against her. She used it against me. Oh, man, you supposed to be a child of God. You ain't yeah. cheating on me. Yeah, and I can say, I said, yeah, like I'm out here fucking bitches and I ain't doing none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not out in clubs or whatever. I was like, but if you're going to use the Bible, what about tame the tongue? Or, you know, ain't it God, man, woman, then sure. Oh, I'll see you now. I'll see you now, nigga. She be about to leave and shit. How you gonna do this? You a child of God. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, like, oh, and I and now I say this to my nigga, man. Like we had these conversations. Shout out to Keys. We be talking, man. We be like, uh, you always got some shit you said to a bitch that you regret. That you glad your friends wasn't there to hear you say, man, some gray A sucker shit. Man. You know what I'm saying, like. I think everybody might have one. <laughs> everybody got one. What? What? Nah, I don't even want to get in this. I don't want to get in this. I don't want to fuck that. I don't want to get in this. Like, if I was able to ask you without you asking me back, I'll ask that shit. Yeah, because you know, nigga, I'm going to ask you, man. I'm going to let them know. 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 But on some real shit though, man, I ain't the type of motherfucker, man. Like, I had to grow and find out. I don't believe in being in love. That is some Hallmark car shit, like, cause when TV it, shit. Like, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, there's no, there's no perfect relationship. There's no in love. Like, that shit's TV. Like, motherfuckers, like, people that post, oh, I'm in love with my wife, my husband on social media. When y'all break up, I need to, y'all need to post that shit too. I need to know the reason why. Where that shit fell off, man. So we need a sequel, bitch. Yeah, we, <laughs> we need, need yeah, sequel. part two. And that's how come, man. The Conjuring. <laughs> man, I'm going to tell you some shit, man. I would never brag on a woman. Yeah, I don't like, never. Man. You never had me out here looking like a fucking fool. You know what I'm saying? You post me. I heard that from like three or four chicks. Like, you ashamed of me. You don't post me or nothing. Like, I don't just don't like, post. Why are, why, you, yeah. like, why are you, like, who are you auditioning for? Yeah. Like, women got a bad. She's my woman. Women have a terrible problem because all they want to do is stun on their friends. Yeah. Like, women don't give a fuck. When they, all they want to do is let their friends know I'm doing better than you. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's crazy, like, don't have me involved in this bullshit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't. Because I would hate to be out here hugged up with a bitch bragging and shit, and she out here sucking recreation with dick, extra recreation with dick. That yeah. shit would. Yeah, because it's a pride thing. Like, I, when I was young, you think it's like they hurt your feelings and shit, man. It's uh, pride, bro. Pride, yeah. Like, I don't. Like, in my, in my fucking. Stay to mind now. A woman can't hurt my feelings. Yeah, my feelings. You can embarrass me. I tell you. If I let you, but you can't hurt my feelings. I tell you, I ain't got no heart. I got battery. Uh, Oh man, my heart. I only heart. My heart is in relation to my daughter. Yeah, Corey's my heart. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the only. I don't. It's it's weird. 
And then women can't fucking understand the fact because they, they don't understand that you're applying logic. Like, when, yeah. men should be logic based. Yeah. We uh, should always. always still women be. function on feelings and yeah. men work on reality. That's how, That's how they should be. Yeah. Niggas should be. Like, I tell people, like, women respond emotionally to everything. Yeah. It's never function on feelings. You know what I'm yeah, saying? No. Like, if you oversleep and you don't call them, they automatically. It's emotional. It's, it's not kind of shit you got over there. It's never logical. Like, yeah. maybe the nigga was sleeping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that, He that's was what, up to three in the morning with me. So, yeah. maybe he can't get up at six. Yeah, seven. yeah. Seven. <laughs> but it's, it's sad. And, and I don't fault women for that. Yeah. Because women are emotional. You know, women are emotional based and shit. And that's why they need a man who's capable of leading. Yeah. Like, you have to tell them, don't be emotional. Be logical. Use your brain, not your heart. Yeah. A man has to be there to help women with that, to uh, get that balance and shit. And just like at the same time, if a nigga's being too logical and shit to where you're not even, like, being compassionate at all and shit, a woman has to tell you, chill out. You know what I'm saying? Because you can be too hard on women too. But, um, it's crazy. I, mean, I hate to see a nigga head over heels in love with a woman. That shit is painful. Uh, it's, it's scary. Yes. Like, I, tell, I, always tell, I always tell women, men in love kill you. Men in love chop your head off. They Man. kill your secret, boy. Men in love are some scary Kill you. and they, say, they just had uh, the dude uh, just killed his ex-girlfriend and himself. We're, like, like, why? Yeah. Like, what does that accomplish? I don't know. Where was this at? Uh, here. You ever thought about killing a bitch? Hell no. Nah. That's, that, that, that's like high level. High level anguish. Like, yeah. what, what drove? That was here? Yeah, like uh, Kokomo or some shit. Like, uh, was it was it a nigga? Nah, it was white. But uh, yeah, damn. Well, um, something else I want to talk about, man. I ain't, I was gonna get into your life a little bit more, nigga, with that other shit. But I don't want you to ask me no goofy shit. I, I am. But yeah, I want to talk about nigga this Usher shit, man. Usher, man. Anybody who don't know Usher out here, man, as far as allegations he go. He moving mountains for real, but that way. As far as allegations go, this nigga got the Nestle Crunch. Two men, two women and a man. A man? Yeah, that's a, that's a son of us. It's three a people. Man. A man. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh, cool. Get the man. fuck out of here. Yeah, the third person that's on him is a man. Well, hold on. Hold the fuck the, on. I don't think he. Uh, man, fuck that! I got to look. I got to look this one up. Yeah, right here. the big girl that had man, the press fuck, conference. Fuck, nigga! Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, man! You got to. Damn. Yeah, that's a man. <laughs> I gotta look this shit up, man. Cause first off, us should be sued by these motherfuckers. They said he got herpes. He gave him herpes where he exposed him to it. And he ain't denying it. Like, he ain't yes, saying shit. Yes, the fuck he is. He said he ain't got it. Now, he, he said he, 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 he ain't gonna take the test. He said he's taking legal action. That don't mean he denying it. Yeah, the fuck you gonna take legal action for if you're guilty? Shit. Look at you. What you got to stand on? I mean. Man, I got to find this. Fuck that, man. You got to show me. Yeah, this, uh. <laughs> Three more. Man, this is some sick shit. Yeah, but I think the man, I don't think he fucking does, nigga. He in Atlanta, what so. What they do, drink after each other? I think Usher probably fucked his girl, and he went behind Usher. Like, she probably went to a concert, and, uh. Oh, so the nigga, so, so it's a nigga who fucked behind him. I guess, or his girl cheated, or whatever. I'm just, I'm assuming here. Like, they don't get into full details, but it's two, two chicks and a nigga. Holy shit, Usher. Dig in, you know what I'm saying? Usher. I, I, I sang your songs. Oh. <laughs> I sang your songs, Usher. But it's all allegations, man. But what I'm talking about, man, is this big. Quantisha. Oh, man. That's and just it, Quantisha, what's her last name? Sharpton. Sharpton. And then she got the uh the uh, lawyer, the one Black China's lawyer. She, you know, had Everlast Chaser. She a civil suit chaser. Like, I'm about to play this shit, man. This shit she said, man. Uh, and her, she just had a press conference, man. These motherfuckers. And I'm going to let y'all listen to it all the way and show y'all how fucked up people are. I'm going to let y'all listen to this shit real quick.
She ain't got it. She said, cause he didn't tell her. This is high level lunacy. This bitch is a scumbag. She called it first off. Everybody keep talking about how big this bitch is. Boy, that bitch is huge. This bitch is, this bitch is like love CB. Two tons of fun. <laughs> big man, but I don't want to ever have that much fun. Man. I, I, I can't stand it. My See, I got, a, uh, I got a uh, circumference with women. Like, if you had that circumference, because sometimes, you know, when I give too much information to another dude, I like the bitch to be on top. There's no way in hell Shallow Howe is getting on top of my little ass. Like, nah, bitch, you're going to go somewhere else. Like, look, this fat bitch, first off, if you look at Usher ex wife, this nigga don't have the highest standards in bitches. Yeah, he don't. To he don't have the highest yeah. standards. To make it one, though. This fat bitch right here said it was her birthday. This nigga, I, this, what, this what I don't like. He he let this fat bitch come backstage and he gave her some birthday dick and this is how she refers. First he pulled this big bitch on stage. Can't let that fuckery go by. Man. Then she got to go backstage. Like I'm cool. Like I call me uh whatever you want to call me is like you know looking at women and want this. Hey bitches do it too. They want a certain type of looking man. Like I want a certain type of looking woman. And my woman ain't gonna look like her. Look, man, first off, he, she unappreciated because he gave her some birthday dick. Yeah. It's not every day a, 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 a grizzly get the fuck a fucking world-renowned superstar. Man. So, like, she, and even furthermore, you don't even got herpes, you big, goofy bitch. Yeah, she just doing you it on the scare. You bitch is really, man, this is some sick shit right here. You like, know, that's kind of a hell of a money uh, grab. You know what that phrase trying to remind me of? What? There's weapons of mass destruction over there. That's exactly what, That's exactly what it is. Like, it, there's no weapons of mass destruction over there, but I'm going to keep throwing that narrative out. This fat bitch don't know how to count blessings. You out here dodged the bullet, bitch. Yeah. And you want to drag him on. What a press conference. What a press conference. But it's the the lawyer chick is the one that's setting everything up. I mean, she had to go get the bitch. The lawyer didn't know she fucked up. No, the lawyer went and got her. Once she posted that shit up and everything, the lawyer went and found her. Like, she like, oh, you get, you got a lawsuit on no, your head. No, what did she post? Like, I think she uh, came out and it was like, you know, uh, she, I didn't get it. But, uh, I'm, I didn't get it, but uh, they were saying on TMZ, TMZ usually right. I hate quoting other people's sources. Crazy. Yeah, they be right about I, everything. I be right about everything. And so they was like, she uh, posted... Uh, that, you know, when Usher came out, the other woman was suing Usher by herpes. She was like, oh, he fucked me raw after the concert and boom, boom, boom. So I need to jump on this bandwagon. Or, but, oh, here's the thing about this lucky fat bitch. Usher ain't the first. What you mean? Usher ain't the first. First what? Uh, R&B singing nigga that she tried to sing. First off, you think she lucky because she fucked Usher? No, 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 no. <laughs> Hold on. Trey Songz was... You pause that shit, nigga. Pause. <laughs> She done. She had been in civil suit with Trey Songz. What? I said, yeah. So oh, this bitch. This, wait this, a this, 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 this is her hustle. This is her hustle. So then she went to suits with them. It's not. It's you know, cause documents covered it, but like it's been like, like motherfuckers been clowning her saying, like how damn you bitches, how you? This how come on? This how those bad bitches in the crowd? You pulling this? Big, this is like these niggas is Buffalo hurting. I mean, like to each his own. How can like we BBW. come up like that? How the Man. fuck can I go to a Rihanna concert and get? 
Do I gotta wear like a crown for my birthday and shit to come up on stage and fuck this Barbados bitch? Man, I, that's what I'm saying. What can I? I, I, I would like you know what I just I would turn it out backstage for her. I'd be so in love with her, Foxy what, Brown. What you would do? The rapper. How far would you? Her and her you girls could run a train on me. Say <laughs> that. Like I'd be the the bell turned out for Foxy Brown and her whole girl. They could run a train on me. I got this bitch named Corey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, we can all fuck him, girl. Yes, right. you can. Hey, like, like, Bring it on. <laughs> hey, when was you? When did you have that uh, crush on her? Um, like in high school. Yeah. Foxy Brown probably had like the most perfect titties I ever seen. Man, she. Around she the uh, ain't no nigga. Yeah, she that can't hear bitch. shit. That she was bad at the motherfucker that ain't no bitch. nigga video. Oh yeah. my goodness. Would you have hit her? Hell yeah. I'm talking. See, let me finish sentence, nigga. Oh uh, yeah, let me quit. Would you, like, would you take the gamble and hit her if you knew she had herpes? Nope. <laughs> ain't no pussy that good to where I uh where I got the risk. Wait a minute, what about what about if money was on the line? Years, like you know, there's a risk, like buddy on the line, we gonna pay you this. There's no, a chance no, you might like, get some. Really no, that's hypothetical. What's fuck? What are you million dollars if you fuck me? A million dollars if I fuck you. I'll take Val tricks. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, nah, I'm cool. For a million dollars. That's cool. I just, I, I oh, mean, right. I'm, I'm cool, bro. Now she didn't tell me. <laughs> if, if she didn't tell me, I can see you at the press conference crying. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna sell that shit. That's like that she nigga. broke my heart. I'm crying. I'm, I'm fucking spraying the the visine, yeah. like real heavy in my eyes before I go out there on stage. Like I'm just emotional, like funeral crying. Oh Lord, oh Jesus, 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 bitch, get me, bitch, get me, bitch. Oh Lord, oh Lord, Jesus, don't take me, take her instead. You ever, you ever hit a bitch? Cause for one, I don't believe in condoms. Yeah. I, I believe like I got like a holy dick and shit that's immune to shit. Yeah. And it's been working ever since I was born. Um, Never had no germs. Yeah, I ain't. But like, I don't, like, I don't believe in condoms. For me, for me personally, yeah. I don't believe. It. But I use it the first night, and then I hit you the second or third the time. What's the Once difference? I, well, if I go for round two, I'm, I'm not putting that condom on. Well, you know what I'm saying. I don't fuck random bitches though, like yeah, see, germy I, bitches. But look, the thing what I'm saying about that is. Have you ever hit a bitch? <laughs> you knew you shouldn't hit it. Yeah. And you like, man, I shouldn't hit that bitch raw. And you like, what if I got AIDS? Yeah. Like, if you done hit a lot of bitches and shit, like, I wonder how many bitches you done hit who had HIV. Like, I wonder if you ever wonder if you ever hit a bitch that had HIV, but you. Man. But, but the, All right. But, but the most I was looking out for you in that particular time, you didn't catch it. Yeah. How you ever, like, hit a chick and then she caught something after you? By hitting another motherfucker, then you see her out, and like, this bitch got up, like, mm, you get to think, I, like, did this bitch have it when I hit her? I remember I hit a bitch in high school, and then I was her, like, seven years later, uh, and that bitch was like, she, like, 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 she was on the walking dead, like, that bitch looked fucked up, and I, I was scared, but I, I like, my, 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 uh, lymph, lymph nose ain't swollen, I ain't got, <laughs> I ain't got no unexplainable cough. Boy, but see, yeah, I go get checked scary. twice a year, like, even if I ain't hit a bitch in a while, like, Every four I hit any new bitch, like you I go. You gonna get your annual pack? Yeah, I go get my. <laughs> so get my teeth checked for lust. Now I go shit January, July, December. I go get checked. I don't get checked like that because you know why? I don't want that bad news. I mean, I have been checked and shit, but I don't go that consistent. I go. So what would I'm, you do if you found out you had AIDS, HIV? They Corey, uh, your test came back positive. Nah. But here's 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 with modern day science, you can take these thirty pills and live. Like, how would you react if they told you you had HIV? I don't know. I'm a, I'd be like, first I'd be like, uh, do I got the magic HIV or do I got <laughs> no, nigga. regular nigga HIV? I'm you crying. Got the, you, got, you, got the, you got the Liberace. Ah, man, I'm crying. I'm, I'm Liberace. The Arthur Ashe. Oh, yeah. See, I'm, 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 uh-uh. I'm you become an activist. I can see you now. And shit. You are an activist. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought my life would end with HIV, but I'm positive. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, I can survive. <laughs> uh -huh. but yeah, man. Hey, shout out to everybody listening. We about to wrap this up. It's been episode three.